Spaghetti. Spaghetti squash. And we're cooking the easy way. I don't even have to look at any recipes or anything. You want to know why? Well, I'm about to tell you in just a second. As soon as I finish doing this step. Okay, I think I got it all out. Okay. Seeds gone. Okay, Google. I'm ready for the next step. Lightly drizzle the cut side of each squash half with olive oil and then season with salt and pepper. Awesome. So let's do what she said. So she already told me the ingredients and how much I'd have to do a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm gonna put like half of it over here. A little drizzly drizzle. A little more. And a little drizzly drizzle over here. Drizzly drizzle. Drizzly. Drizzle. Drip, 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 drip. All right, and a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, and some pepper. They say fresh cracked pepper, but we don't have fresh cracked pepper, so we just kind of, we're winging it. Oh, I know my hair look a mess. It's just like, don't, don't worry about my hair, y'all. So don't judge me. I know it look a mess. <laughs> okay, so I saw in one of the instructions, they kind of like rubbed it in. When I was looking up for this, so it's kind of a little bit in a little bit. Okay, okay, Google, I'm ready for the next step. Heat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and line a rim baking sheet or large baking dish with parchment paper. Awesome. Parchment paper over. Yeah. Uh -oh. That came off somehow. Okay. Ta-da! Parchment paper. All right, and we have our cookie dish already here. Does it matter what side? No, no matter what side. All right. Okay. Oh, does it go face down? Is it face down? Okay, Google. Can you repeat the last step? Step 12. Run a fork through the flesh to separate the uh -oh. spaghetti leek eggs from oh. noodles. I wonder what step that was. Hey Google, can you repeat the fourth step? Step four, heat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and line a rim baking sheet or large baking dish with parchment paper. Okay Google, what's next? Place the squash cut side down onto the baking sheet and bake 40 to 50 minutes until it is soft and easily pierced with a knife. If you have some, sneak a few sprigs of fresh herbs underneath in the cavity of the squash rosemary, thyme, sage, and mint are excellent. Thyme, sage, mint. Do we have any of those? I think we have thyme. Do we have thyme? Oh, that was in our little um, wheel thing. We lost that in the flood. Oh. It said fresh herbs. Hmm. It says rosemary, cumin, garlic powder. Yeah. So I mean, do we just put it? It says underneath in the cavity. So put it in the cavity, so turn it back over and put it in there? Okay. I guess right. We Actually, know. this has most of the things that they refer to. This has thyme and the rosemary. Oh, cool. Okay. Put it back over. All right, let's put some of this good old fashioned Mrs. Dash table blend. Oh, that. Really, that is like Mrs. Dash. Like if you are trying to do like low sodium and stuff and cooking at home, preparing meals, you definitely want to get yourself some Mrs. Dash. We replaced our Tony Sashery with Mrs. Dash. We've been eating like this for for years now, years, years. Mrs. Dash is where it's at. Bam. Okay, so let's flip this bad boy back over. Let's 
let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see, let's test Google out. Hey Google, how long do I need to cook the squash again? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Ah, uh, she can't help with that yet. Okay Google, repeat step four again. My apologies, I don't understand. You forgot we was cooking Google? Okay Google, I'm ready for the next step. When the squash is done, flip the halves so that the cut side is facing up and allow to cool for about five minutes. Let's see. Okay, Google. Repeat step five. Step five, place the squash cut side down onto the baking sheet and bake 40 to 50 minutes until it is soft and easily pierced with a knife. If you have some, sneak a few sprigs of fresh herbs underneath in the cavity of the squash rosemary, thyme, sage, and mint are excellent. Okay. So let's move this bottom rack up some. Cooking with the hovers, cooking with the hovers, cooking with the hovers, cooking with the hovers. I need to. Okay, Google, stop alarm. Okay, that was for me to take the foil off of my chicken. We are cooking chicken. Now, okay Google, start a timer for 45 minutes. All right, 45 minutes starting now. Oh yeah. Barely. It's in there. Okay, so chicken's gone, squat's gone. Okay, Google, set another timer for 40 minutes. Second timer for 40 minutes, starting now. And that's how you cook with the hovers with Google Home. Da, 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 da. We'll be back.